Okay, so the package installer basically is this app on your Vita which Sony has hidden that would allow you to install demos and other DMR f DRM free stuff from other regions like Netflix, Country Roll, e Reader, Once Hunt and Freedom Unite Online, Fantasy Star Online, etc. And the best part is that the previous method led to a moderately high risk breaking, while this method is more is way lower. It's actually, our personal opinion, is probably like a five percent chance if you really do not follow this tutorial correctly. So before we even start, the first thing we're gonna do, because this utterly annihilated me, and I was wondering why it wasn't working. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab any app that you want. I'm gonna grab my Soul Sacrifice app, and you're gonna create a new page and drag that one single app into that new page, like that. Um, and actually, put it in the first spot, right there. Okay, we'll leave this for later, but remember which app you put into that spot. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need is a Henoku bubble. I'm gonna start with the Henoku bubble. Now, if you don't have a Henoku bubble, there is, a, I'm leaving a link to the tutorial right here, and you can see how to set that, all that up. It's very easy, very straightforward. Now, next we're gonna do is start up an FTP server, and we're gonna head back to our computer to install the Vita RW um, VBK. Okay, so when back on our computer, we're gonna download the Vita RW VBK. I have a link in the description, you can go straight to it. So yeah, you download this file, I already have it downloaded. You're gonna drag it wherever you feel like. I'm putting it on my desktop personally, which I already have it here. And then from here, we're gonna open up our FTP client. Now, if you're on Windows 10, 8, or 7, you can open up an FTP client from your Windows Explorer file, sorry, Windows File Explorer, Explorer which is the, this thing here. Now, if you're not on Windows 10, 8, or 7, you're going to have to use this program called FireZilla. I'll leave a link in the description to that program. Anyways, once you have your FTP client open, you're going to type in the address that, that your uh, your Vita gives you. So in my case, it's FTP colon slash slash 192.168.2.4 bracket 1337 slash. Give it a few, few moments. It takes some time depending on your internet speed. All right, it's loaded up. Go on UR0. Give it a few time to load up. We're gonna drag our Vita RW file into here, which I apparently have it in there already, but I'm gonna just double check and do it again. All right, so when this is done transferring, we're gonna head back to our Vita and start start up this, um, this VBK, or install it first actually, and then start it up, all right? Okay, so we're back on our Vita, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna close our FTP real quick and go find where we put our um, Vita RW VBK, which in this case, I put it in UR0. Go there, there it is. Let's go all the way down to it. Hit X to install, yes. Wait a few moments. There you go, I'm done. Head back to our live area, you can close this, and open up Vita RW. Auto exit, it's let it auto exit by itself. Alright, we can go back to our molecule, or our Henoku bubble, open that up, start back the FTP, and we're heading back to our computer. Okay, so when we're back on our computer, we're gonna go to this link right here. It's in the description below. And once we're there, you're gonna hit download. It's gonna download. And we're gonna put this file to the side for now. Next thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna head to your, your FTP client and type in back that address into it and connect back to your Vita. Now when you're back connected to, back to your Vita, you're gonna go to the VS0 folder. Then you're gonna hit the app. And you're gonna look for the NPX NPXS10031 folder. So mine is right there. Now I suggest you back this up, which I have on my desktop. I've dragged and dropped it to my desktop right here, the back, just in case something goes wrong, I can always re replace it. So yeah, once you back it up, or if you choose to back it up, you're gonna delete it right after. So hit yes. Give it a few moments. Okay, so once the folder is deleted, you're gonna go and open up that um, file we downloaded earlier. 
and you see something like this, I'm going to go into the package installer folder and the npxs10031 folder we see in the zip file, we're going to drag that to where we just deleted our uh, other folder. So what we're pretty much doing is replacing the file. Also remember that you do have a backup just in case this whole process messes up. All right, so that's going to copy. When that is done, we're also going to grab our app.database file. So I suggest you download this program over here. Uh, and we scroll down and scroll to, where is it? Downloads right here. All of that's right there. All right. So is it, is it done transferring yet? Nope. I'm going to skip to the part where this is done transferring. So yeah, I suggest you go and get this program. Okay, so if we hit the refresh button, we should be able to see that our file is done transferring, which if we look, yep, there it is, it's done transferring. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to our Vita, the menu here, and we're going to head to UR0, right here, UR0, give it a few seconds to wait, and then we're going to go to slash the DB folder and grab the app.db file. So we're gonna go to the db folder, where are you? No, we're, oops, sorry, I lied. You're gonna go to ur0 shell, and then there should be a db um, folder inside of it. Give it a few moments, give it a few moments. All right, db. All right, we're gonna go and grab this and transfer it a copy to our desktop or wherever you wanna transfer it to. I, I put everything on my desktop, keeps everything clean for me, I know where everything is. Okay, so when we're, um, when app.db is done transferring, you're gonna open up your the program I told you to download before, which is SQLite browser. Open that up, great. And we're gonna drag and drop our extracted um, app.db into it, it'll open it up. We're going to head to browse the browse data tab, head to tpl app info underscore icon, and we're going to hit new record. Now, if you don't remember the beginning of the video, I told you to um, isolate an app in its own little page on your Vita. Now, you're going to find where that app is, which mine's right here, Soul Sacrifice. You see how page ID is 8 and how it's 0? Yeah, we're going to remember those right there. So, yeah, hit new record. Oh, I already had a new record, sorry. So yeah, I have a new record here. Sit, so my page ID for Soul Sacrifice was eight. Yeah, eight, great. And then since it is zero, if you followed me correctly, you put it um, on the first spot, so it should be zero. So I'm gonna put mine, just to be safe, in two. So yeah, page ID in my case is eight, Pause is two, whatever. All right, so for icon path, you're gonna copy and paste, this is an description right here. Icon path, you're gonna copy and paste this. So copy, double click, paste it into there, hit okay. For title, you're gonna copy this stuff, copy, double click, paste, okay. For title ID, it's very straightforward. It's this thing right here, copy. All right, double click, Good. okay, and I believe we are done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer this back to our Vita, uh, DB, boom, boom. Did I write change? Make sure you wrote, yeah, I wrote, I wrote changes. All right, so you saved it, transfer it back to your Vita, and from there, yeah. So when we're back on our Vita, and you've transferred over our app um, dot database, you can, Reboot it now. Completely reboot. Power off. All right, when it turns off, turn it back on. All right, just give it a second. All right, so when this boots up, or what we're gonna do, we're gonna find that game, or that app that we used, the page that app is on. So I use Soul Sacrifice. 
So if I scroll down to that page, there is Soul Sacrifice and there is Package Installer. Uh, wow, opens up and everything. It's great. Okay, so next part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to install um, a PKG. Okay, so installing a PKG file is fairly simple. The first requirement is that it has to be DR, DR, um, RM free. So I left the link in the description that you can go to that has a, pretty much every DRRM free PKG um, out there right now. So right here, you can just copy paste, go in there. Now my test PKG I'm gonna use for this video is gonna be Crackle. I already have it downloaded. To, to download anything here, you're just gonna click on it, instant. Just like that. Cancel that real quick. All right, next thing we're gonna do is open up your um, CM, QCMA. So in my case, there it is. It's already running, okay, great, great. And then, Go, go to settings, and you see how it says packages here? We're gonna go to this folder, and a copy. Um, I think I have one of these open. Paste it into the address bar. I already have this here. I think this is Crunchyroll. I'm gonna delete that. All right, I'm gonna transfer my Crackle PKG into here. And now we can go back on our Vita, make sure QMCA is on. And yeah, so we're heading back to our Vita right now. Okay, so once you have your Vita connected to QCMA, you can close, sorry, I had this up by accident, just close that. You can go over to your package installer, open that up. Once that's open, click there, and there's our crackle. All you do is tap it, hit OK, let it install, it's usually Depending on the file size, it's usually fast. Okay, so you see here now that it's done, you can go back to your live area. And if we scroll down, there is Crackle. Fully functional and everything. All right, well, there you go, guys. I am just Dereni. I hope this tutorial helped you. Please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Just Dereni again, signing out.